From WNY News, this is First Morning Weather. Well, I had that cold front that came through late last night, very early this morning with some gusty wind and pockets of some heavy rain, even some reports of some scattered power outages late last night as that front passed through. Wellsboro Sky Cam right now showing overcast conditions. We've been tracking a couple spotty showers across our area earlier this evening, and these spotty showers will continue off and on overnight tonight and through the day tomorrow, occasionally mixing with a few wet snowflakes, especially across the higher terrain. So a stark contrast from where we were late last week with temperatures close to 90 degrees. But this cool down will be rather short lived. And by the end of this week, we're going to be well up into the 70s, perhaps some lower 80s once again. Currently 50 in Watkins Glen, 54 in Corning, 51 in Ridgebury, Mansfield down to 46 degrees. We're sitting at 55 in Tawanda. Area of low pressure spinning over the central Great Lakes region. Enough cold air associated with the system for some wet snow showers to mix in. These showers working their way in from the west this evening. And again, we've already had a couple spot showers passing through. Uh, nothing on the heavy side, but that rain coming through Steuben County and then not far from the Manfield area right now. These showers working their way eastbound and at times overnight tonight. A few more showers can't be ruled out. Tomorrow's plan are showing perhaps a peak of sunshine, but generally speaking, an overcast day. I'd say the bigger weather story, the colder temperatures and the breezy conditions. Some of the wind gusts will top 25 miles an hour. Combine that with temperatures only in the mid 40s and you'll definitely want to layer up. You'll need that jacket out the door early tomorrow morning. Here's a look at our future track and we'll start at uh, 3 a.m. and you can see a couple flurries, light snow showers uh, mixing in with a couple of those quick hitting rain showers. Nothing that lasts for very long though and we're not anticipating any kind of snow accumulation, so that's good news. But again, not what we'd like to see this time of year. Again, as we go through the morning hours, again, a few flurries or mixed rain and snow showers still possible. Uh, these will hold true right through the afternoon hours. And notice temperatures uh, only into the mid 40s for highs. But again, feeling cooler when you factor in the winds. Tomorrow night will settle down into the lower 30s, so right around the freezing mark. But then beyond that, a little bit of a warming trend. Check this out. Tomorrow, 46 for those uh, spotty mixed rain and snow showers by Wednesday, 57. And then a big jump in temperatures here. By the time we get into Thursday, here comes a warm front through our region, and temperatures are going to rise all the way up to near 80 degrees by Thursday. I don't think it's going to be a record-breaking day. The current record sits around 84 degrees, but still, well above average for this time of year. Now, as far as the mowing forecast goes, uh, tomorrow, fair conditions. Again, there'll be a couple showers around. Wednesday and Thursday, pretty nice conditions with uh, partly sunny skies. And then Friday, even though temperatures are going to be up near 80 again, may have to deal with a stray shower. But you can clearly see that nice temperature rise here in the coming days. And then we'll be tracking our next cold front that will be passing through late Saturday. And that'll drop temperatures towards the end of the weekend and into early next week. With our five degree guarantee for today, we forecast 61, but we had a midnight high of 69. So that means we'll donate $36 to the charity of the month. Daytime temperatures, though, were only in the 50s. 34 for a low tonight with a passing rain or snow shower possible. A few more showers around for tomorrow. Otherwise, mostly cloudy skies, breezy conditions, and a five degree guarantee of 46, 57 Wednesday, and then a nice warming trend here for Thursday and Friday.